the beautiful bride. Congratulations, I love you. Aw, Santa Santa, Kiki. <laughs> Wanna be official? Oh, they yeah. You say you wanna be official? Oh, they yeah. What's up you guys it's your girl star j craziness and i'm coming to you you and you with my word on the street okay first i want to say thank you thank you thank you to all my new subbies <laughs> what they do and i want to also give a shout out to my loyal supporters that ride with me on any video i do y'all got my back like two flats all right but it's cool i'm very very appreciative of you guys but let's go ahead and get into this story so portia and miss shamia they are i guess friends again or whatever but it's gonna take a little more than what they're doing to repair that friendship because i mean woo! we all seen real housewives of Atlanta season nine reunion it was it was something okay what well, up third and fourth part of it because that first and second when mm -mm, it wasn't about nothing but anyway <laughs> he's so shamia she talked to bravo's daily dish and basically she's just telling them the status of her and portia's friendship okay so here we go i didn't care about what Phaedra said as much because she'll do anything to get herself out of the hot seat. The thing that hurt me was having Portia not defend me or even go as far as co-sign it in a sense even though she said that wasn't her intention. Um, the least she could have done is remove herself from the conversation. Not add to it. That was hurtful. Yeah, I agree. She could have, you know, said hold up. I cherish my friendship, my real friendship, because this fake freakery we got going on on this Real Housewives of Atlanta we call friendship, uh-uh. Let me excuse myself. Or, you know, better yet, yes, let's talk about something else. Because I ain't trying to hear that. You know I'm friends with Shamia, but it is what it is. I told her, like, hold on. I told her I felt like in her blog, she was being more neutral and saying she didn't want to be in the middle of it and not necessarily sticking up for her friend. I just felt like there was no apology. I was planning my wedding and Portia was supposed to be there with me. It's very disheartening. Mm -mm -mm. So now she done had like a um, bridal shower and it seems to me, well it doesn't seem to me, I saw it. <laughs> they, they're they basically taping that bridal shower for Real Housewives of Atlanta, a scene that they can use for the show. So y'all be looking out for that and Portia was there. Well, hell, Candy was there, Toy was there, a, lot, a couple of people were there that we know of. But she also had to say, I am hopeful that we can get back on track as friends. But at this point, it's going to take a lot on both sides. I'm actually kind of drained and tired of trying. I continue to tell Portia to be careful. I would have never done anything like that to Portia, especially not to someone she already had some sort of past drama with. I don't know if we could ever get back to that place. Would I like for us to? Absolutely. I love Portia and I want nothing but the best for her. I just don't know if her loyalty lies with me anymore. <laughs> I'm afraid that in the future she might meet someone, a new friend, and then her loyalty will change again. And it's going to take some time. Okay. Alright. Well, hey, it is what it is. You, I mean, when it comes to friendship, you have to have trust between the two. And if you don't have that, hell, that's what any relationship, it all, it always starts off as trust. I have to trust you, okay? If I don't trust you, you don't need to be in my freaking circle. And my circle is very small because you can't trust any and everybody, okay? That was just my little um speak on the day type thing I had. So watch who you, watch who you hang around, people. Watch who you hang around because that might not be your true friend. And how they say, you can count your true friends on one hand. And best believe, I can count mine on one hand. You feel me? But anyways, this your girl, Star J Craziness. Y'all tell me what y'all think about the situation in the comment section below. And I'll see you on the next word on the street. Be breezy.